Am I on you up? Good evening. Hello. Hello. We are back. Yeah. <laughs> As promised. Not that we've been very far. Third of March. Well, this one has been far. I've not been too far. Oh, guys. Oh. oh, we might talk about that at the end. At the end. At the end. After all, this is a stitching show. It is. Mm. It is. Hi, guys. Yes. Thanks for coming back. If you're a returning subscriber, if you're a new subscriber, Hello, Hello as well. We know we have a few of you. Yeah, it's great to see you all. Mm. Yes. I can see you all. Yes. Who's that in the cheap seats that's picking their nose? <laughs> Stop that. You're stitching. Keep your fingers clean. Stitching. Good idea. Yeah. Um, if we've been mentioned by people we don't know because they haven't at mentioned us in their description, so it doesn't tell us that we've been mentioned. Mm. Although we have a couple, like I think DNA Geek Crafts and Crafty Road Gamer and Wolf Down Rabbit Hole, but that's because we always put each other's tags always in our descriptions. So yes. Whether or not they actually properly mention us is yes. another matter. No, hello to hello. those people. Um, I've watched this week um, Potty Mouse Stitcher. Yeah, me too. And. You watched Accio Whip. Uh, Accio Whip. I haven't yet watched theirs. Tell you what, they we've got a long way to go to get their rapport, darling. We've lost what they've got. Their their banter with each other which really made me chortle. What? Don't be sad. We're good. <laughs> I love you lots, darling. Shall we talk about stitching? Or are you got more? Are you going to diss us and our relationship in front of everybody again? I'm not dissing our relationship. You I'm dissing we've how... Lost, we've lost what they've got. How, how dare you? How very dare you? Yeah. I don't feel that we've lost anything. Although that does remind me... Hi, Grant! <laughs> Hello, Grant! You wake. There you go. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. No, we're not in your living room talking to Sam. But we are. <laughs> Is the heating on? Yeah, oh, I'm warm. You got a jacket on, but Why I'm warm because I'm dressed. You're wearing your battle jacket. I'm dressed. I said, you never wear your battle jacket. I, and this we're, we're digressing. Um, ooh, I've also watched Cross Stitch Cats and Chaos. That's Laurie, I think, is her name. Yes, I watched that. Potty Mouth Stitcher is Heidi. Yes, hello, Heidi. Hi, hi. Don't. Not funny. Not funny. <laughs> Nice to see her <laughs> no, no. Not it's at the expense of somebody's name. It's a TV programme in the UK, for anybody that doesn't know. It's called Heidi High, and it was about a campsite where they were like a, a holiday camp when that's yes. what we used to say. Heidi High, and everyone mm, had to say ho -de -ho. Ho -de -ho. back again. Oh dear, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? Um, so what else? I have, I've, I've picked up quite a lot of floss jibbers but i haven't got any particular names to mention at this precise moment because they just i just drew a blank today but of course i help um keep the under 1000 subs club list yes. up to date indeed so if there's anybody new that i haven't seen just feel free to mention them down below anybody that's brand new on the circuit feel free um also working community. on that with me is the um, laura from the slovak fam and fam slovak fam Slovak Farm and Dawn Frosty X Stitch. Um, it was originally started by a bunch of other people who have since then have passed the torch over to Dawn and myself and what have you. So we're working on it. But talking of the Slovak Farm, if you ha I haven't seen them, guys, pop in because I like their opening gambit. This is the Slovak Farm where we grow cross stitching, one, one stitch, stitch at a time. I love it. It's fab. But we're always with the caveat they are an acquired taste, so you may or may not like them. Like us, you know. There's somebody for everybody out there. Yeah, yeah. But yes, Laura and Joe. Me. Yeah. Quiet. You married me. Um. What else? Have, I've also. Um. Uh, I know we're going to get on stitch in a moment, but I have been using Teresa Little Stitcher's stitching tracker. I don't. No, you don't. But I had to be extra, didn't I? And uh, whilst Teresa did say. Um, you might not want to fiddle with it. I did a little bit. I am um, not not very much. I simply put an extra column on the end with a calculation in it, because Teresa is a Excel sensei. 
that's a sense. Sense eight. Um, and I am not. <laughs> yeah, you're not. <laughs> so yeah. mine now counts how many days as well as how many stitches because they were two different spreadsheets and I didn't want to have to keep putting everything into two different spreadsheets. Mm. Yeah, but you could hyperlink the square to take it straight to that other yeah, spreadsheet. Yeah, so I, I, didn't, no, I didn't want to take it to another spreadsheet, like a completely new workbook. Mm. I wanted it all on one. So yes. I just put an extra column in and copied the kind of, it took me a while to get it, I will admit. It doesn't quite do what I wanted it to do, but it'll do. It'll do. It'll do, darling, it'll do. Um, cool. The other thing we haven't talked about, we should have talked about last episode. Oh, no. no, it's a good thing. We did that whole whip bingo. Not, yeah, it was not a, the whip go, but the whip bingo. The whip bingo. If we... It, hmm. Is there a need to clear it up? or people okay with it? No, people are okay with it, but I just want to run through some of the suggestions people made. Oh, I see. Made. Fantastic if they're playing that game. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Like yeah. Modern folk embroidery and a yeah. heaven and earth. So, um, I'm going to read from down here. So, um, Dawn, no, no, it wasn't Dawn. That's further down. So, Harpy Stitch mentioned unconventional cross stitch. We need to do one of theirs. Pourquoi? That as one of the list on the things. Oh, okay. But they're a full coverage. Ink circles. We didn't mention ink circles. Anyone doing ink circles? An ink Who's circle? doing an ink circle? You it's are. a rumour. Um, Marlene, I think that's how Marlene, no, it might be Marlene because it's double E and I think she's mm. Dutch, suggested Riolis, Luca S, Dimensions. Dimensions. Mm -hmm. Autumn Watch Lane Stitchery. Autumn Lane Stitchery should go on there. Autumn Lane. Vivaco Lanarti. I think originally, though, didn't we talk about in a bingo card that we wanted, if we were looking at our bingo card, we wanted generic. So we didn't want it to be a haid, but it was a full coverage. So do a full coverage. And I'm now thinking, do a 40 plus fabric count as well. I didn't. Yeah. yeah. It, I For me, my card didn't want to be filled with yeah, I know. designers. But I wanted it to be filled with skills. But I'm talking about what other people. Say. Yeah, yeah. No, love it. Love it. Love it. So Vivaco um, Lenarte, or another designer that someone's mentioned, Tiny Modernist, because some of these have got really specific styles, like Soda Stitch. Yes. You know, and Soda um, Stitch have got the really cute characters, like um, Rogue Mama Stitcher does, Amber. Mm. But they've also got the amazing little gnomes. They're more like gonks, because uh, they're yeah, more the gonks. Eyes. Yeah, the gonks. Yeah, yeah, the one carrying the... Christmas tree. Mm, and the... Mm. I like those a lot. Who, who designs those? Soda Stitch. Oh, yeah, Soda Stitch. Yeah. Betty reminded us that there's also lavender and lace, butternut road. And I think the other one you were looking for, Betty, was told in a garden. Right. But they all come yeah, under. They call, all come under the Mirabilia, Bella yes. Filipina, Passione Ricamo. Exactly. The, the fancy lady, the beautiful ladies. Exactly. Such a beautiful lady. Yeah. Shannon Christine, I think. The, um, and Dawn mentioned Mill Hill. How could we forget a Mill Hill? I think that needs, for me, on my card, it would say do a perforated yeah, so cardboard. Mill, Mill Hill, Satsuma, Satsuma Street. Satsuma Street. Yeah. Do a perforated cardboard ornament. Um, but Dawn also mentioned uh, Blackbird Designs, Prairie Schooler. Prairie Schooler a particular style, so primitive would be the okay. overall thing. Okay. Um, something with speciality stitches like a, a Chatelaine or a Sweetheart Tree. Or a Texture Treasures. A Redworks, this is also Dawn saying a Redworks sampler. What, Bristol? Like, yeah, like the Bristol samplers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a black work piece. So would that then Hardanger. be like a single colour sampler? Yeah. Yeah. It's quite but, bad, actually. That's good. Yeah. red work and white work and black work are all slightly different. Okay. So black work is all back stitch and Holbein mm. stitch and that. Okay. White work tends to be something different again. Then you've got Hardanger. Hardanger. See, I, let's see, that, that, goes on my, that goes on my bingo card. Yep. I need to do said, some Hardanger stuff. Maybe a daily temperature, please. And then Wolf Down the Rabbit Hole, Jen, mm. mentioned Mill Hill, of course. Derwent Water Designs, because I know that she's Derwent Water mad and looking for particular pieces. Mm. John Clayton and Michael Powell. Mm -mm. You have to give me an example of what they stitch, what they design. John Clayton does landscapes, I think, and does okay. stuff for heritage. And I've got a feeling that those fancy ladies, there's some fancy ladies that are John Clayton. Okay. I think okay. I might be wrong. And Michael Power is a very particular style of landscape and architecture artist. Okay. So there you no, go. No, I love the fact that the I communities... just wanted to make sure we addressed that. Yeah, yeah, no, fabulous. No, no, fabulous. Um, it was just a play on words, really. Mm. I'm trying to develop my ability with stitching. 
I'm fairly new to it. And I thought, I wondered if, what could I stitch on to improve my, and then that, that's, that was the, the origins of it. And there we are. And here we are, 10 here minutes are. in. And we're just about to talk about proper stitching, but we have talked about stitching. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, mister, you're up first. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Am I ready? Oh, I hope so. Oh, my God. What does it say You've been ready there? all afternoon. You've been nagging me. When what are does we it say? When are, we filming? Oh, when are we filming? It says, okay, when did we last do this? February sometime. 12th of February. Okay, so between then this and now. This is tube number 38. Ignore that. That's just 36 minutes, there's 38. Only three whips have been out. Um, so, obviously, I'm only stitching on some of my whips when I'm at home. Yeah. And, and weekends one, and one while you're at the truck all the time indeed one constantly so, so let's first up. Uh, talking of in the truck um i am stitching in the truck at the moment uh, an ink circle a henna mandala um this was picked up at the bristol stitchy day there we go Chrissy. um bought from uh, marnie's mixed bag um i'm stitching it on a what? something and count linen Bought you're, from you're stitching a 28 count linen. I am 28 count linen, yes. Yeah, and this is what it looked like last time. It is just there. And this is what it looks like. No, no. Lord. not bad. We're getting there. Um, obviously, okay. the truck it gets done in the truck every day. All the other whips are five days only. Seems unfair, but the, the one in the truck is every day. Every day, I can put some time, time into it, mm. and it's coming together. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Cool. Happy? Yes. Okay. Next up is the one that's taken you forever to learn how to say. Arawayan. Yeah. A textured treasures piece. Mm -hmm. I haven't got a what did it look like last time. But we do have a what it will look like when it's Eventually. done. Eventually. Yeah, I first like saw this at the stitching show up in Harrogate. Harrogate and I just fell in love with it the bold colors the geometric shapes just loved it so I don't have a what it looked like but it will look like that I hope yes um it's got different stitches in it it's got um some threads I've never used big fat Ooh. black velvet ones um and this is what it looks like now after five days um yeah yep let go now I've got it so yeah um, it'll come out again in a few rotations time. Mm -hmm. um, How are you finding it? Don't be... On black, obviously there is a certain amount of difficulty with black. It's, it's not white fabric, is it? It's not coloured fabric. The holes are difficult to find. This is a 28 count. Um, Jobalan. Job Jobalan. From Whitechelt. Whitechelt, which which yeah. Um, I must. I, I accidentally found. I was using a white light underneath. Now I know some, some people mm. say your hands make shades and stuff, and they're right. They do. You have to position the white light to show the holes. Now the holes are only really needed when I'm putting a random stitch in on new fabric. Obviously, when you put in a stitch next to another stitch, the needle finds the hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so then I was. Playing with the head, head torch underneath with white light, it was blinding me through the fabric, mm. yeah? Because I, I wear uh, magnifying spectacles, and it was really getting in the eye, and I thought, I wonder what if, and I pressed the button, and I got... What are you done with it? Okay, so on <laughs> on our head torch, this is tea, I'm not, I haven't got it on the moment, look, if I turn that down, we have a red. Not that you can you can't see it on there. No. Um, on my hand. Now I've shone the red through and the holes just popped. Um, but you can't see yeah, You can see it. There you go. Without blinding me. And it didn't really seem to matter that my hand was in the way because I could angle it around my hand. And it just made the job of finding that first yeah. hole incredible. Yeah. yeah so yeah. instead of using a white light underneath to see what your mm, on the, the holes are on the black, work red. with a red light. Have a look. Have a go. It doesn't hurt your eyes. And it just makes the holes pop. Yeah. It was incredible. That's okay. Please. Oh yeah, so it does. <laughs> <laughs> so it does. Well, there you go, sir. There you go, you see. Mm-hmm. So that's that. And then my last one for today was literally a new start today. A new start. Ding, ding, ding. 
And what it's going to look like is just there. So and this is um, something called a jeweled skeleton queen. Yep. And um, there's three in a tri in a triplet. Yep. A tri. Got three. Um, there's a jester, a queen, and a king, yep. and they're by Night Spirit Studio. No. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yes. Um, so you're I'm going I'm going to do them as three together, joined together. Um, and it's stitching on black Ada. And so far, it looks like that. The bodice of the queen. She's going to be in the middle. The queen in the middle and then the jester to the left and the king to the right. Because the king and the jester have both got bits sticking out of their box. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas the queen is all contained within her box. Saying nothing. Smoking behind in, my frame. In her arch. They're, they're, they're oh, yes, in, in an arch. They're in an archway, yes. And the Box. queen is very controlled and within her arch. And the jester isn't. And the king has got his. Yeah, the jester's too busy playing with his out. balls, isn't he? As per usual. Spook the cat. Spook the cat. That's me, done. Spook the cat. I'm sorry. That's a good name for a cat, Hi. isn't it? Spook. Hello. Spook the cat. So, uh, off. The, the, can you just knock somebody the else's me? somebody else's teeth in today? Yeah, I think <laughs> so. So while I was away, the animals were in the kennels, cattery, who are absolutely brilliant. Um, yes. But every time they go to the kennels and cattery, the cat when the cat comes back, we get a different cat. I think we do. And he's a, he's different again. He's still shouting McShout shout face, but he hasn't left me alone. And he even likes me. Yeah, he's he's come back liking David. Just incredible. Went home, went to the kennels, hated me, wouldn't come anywhere near me. Hey. Then, yeah. Come here then. Different cat. But there he is now shouting because he's Mr. Shouty because food's due. Yeah. So I'm handing the baton over to you. Okay. Right. My turn then. Yes. <laughs> right. One that's not actually on my list in front of me, I realised when I went upstairs just now, is um, I, um, I have been working on a little mill hill. Uh -huh. a, a jeweled beaded ornaments thing that has got a few cross stitches in it. Cool. Um, but a lot of beads. A lot of beads. Got a lovely Hi, bed. cat. Got a lovely bed just there. There you go. Yeah, so it's like that. And I don't think I've actually shown you a picture of it before, but I've, I've got that far. Looking like a... Looking like a snowflake. Mm. Yeah, it's quite nice. It's fun. Bit different. Would you like your ink circles? I would back? like the ink circles back. back. Thank you. <clears throat> so there's that one. So in February for Whipgo, uh, the Whipgo board called Sleepy Hollow again and Spooky House. So I did some work on Spooky House. It looked like this last time you saw it, and now. It looks like this. Would you care to hold it up, my able Mabel? Ooh, you can bring it further in. Turn the light off. No, don't turn the light off. But there you go. Hold that. There we go. Lovely job. So as you can see, compared to last time, I've filled in the window here. And I've put some into the archway here and then mm. started to work my way down. And for that, I have put in 565 stitches, which isn't a massive amount. But it is slowly going and it's it started okay. to move forward again, which mm. was quite nice. Mm. I'm also doing that one with Nadine of Nad's X Stitch. And um, we're using hashtag Spooky House Sal. And the fabric this is on is 16 count Ada by Picture This Plus. I nearly said plush. <laughs> Pic Picture This Plus. And the colourway is Mirage. Cool. Um, there's a lot, a lot of glow in the dark thread on this one. Mm. Um, you haven't even started a, the moon yet. I know, <laughs> the moon, oh my word. Um, it's a big moon. It's like 16 spools of crinic glow in the wow. dark, something like that. So, um, yes, we'll be coming on to that before too long. Oh, yes, Did I've you show what it's going to look like at the be at the end when it's finished? I haven't shown what yeah. it's going to look like at the end. But here, I'll put a little picture up just up here. I did put it what it'll look like when mm. it's finished. Um, yes, so that hasn't yet been Looking called good. again. 
Nicely charted. It's got good detail. Yeah, it's uh, by Sandra Palo of X's and O's, if I remember rightly. Very yeah. cool. All done? Yes. Cool. So, called in February, if you recall, if you recall it was called Sleepy Hollow. in January as well. So, mm. I had my second of five days from my whip go on Sleepy Hollow. So, the last time you saw it, it looked like this. Mm -hmm. We'll put a little picture up in the corner of what it's going to look like when it's done. Um, but here's what it looks like now. If you look at that. Ouch. Sorry, Don. Sharp now. Sharp something. Um, <laughs> so we have now got... Um, I, I haven't quite filled in all of the bits in the, the mm. main and head because we've got a, an Anchor 401 issue at the moment where we've got two skeins of Anchor 401 and we're not sure which one is the correct one. Different and I colours. can't remember whether or not I've done any stitching on for using both of them mm. or whether or not it'll even matter. Um, and the red eye and the red tongue and all of the jacket is now stitched. Yeah, looking good. I've got to find what I did. I think that's the thread I've got to use. I forgot to take it with me. I think that's the one that's for the silver on the like the stirrup where I put stirrup in there's buckles and what have you very nice yes um I a bit more stitching in that one eight hundred and sixty nine I think they'll bear with mm. me eight six nine yeah and what's really funny is over the course of the two months between the so pair of days. them I've managed to put in like, like one thousand two hundred and ninety something and one's one nine four and one mm. nine seven yeah. And how many thousands did who who we were watching last night that said oh in February I only did fifteen thousand stitches I like know. really okay it's five hundred a night I managed to like if I I think I did three and a half thousand in if I February, do eighty a night I'm good right total total for <laughs> February and January three and a half thousand each I think it was it's not exactly the speediest of stitches right no done thank you nicely done. Um, if you recall from the last month or two, I foolishly signed myself up for the World of Cross Stitching Stitch Along. <laughs> um, I finally, you would, you would have seen it look like this last time, I think. I think I had it out last time. It's good to look like this when it's finished. Oh, in theory, it should look like this. So it's not exactly a mystery Stitch Along. No. But here's where I'm at. I've managed to complete the first part. Um, well done. The A little finish. A mini finish, yes. So that's part one finish. They've just released part four. So I've got to pull my finger out and get stitching. Indeed. Um, the grey tones down the colours considerably. Mm. But they are quite pretty. It's just, it's in contrast to everything else we do. Yes. Either glow in the dark or the bright colours or the... Spooky. The spooky stuff. Yeah, the, spooky stuff. So, uh, the pastels are particularly attractive. I believe it's a Jereen Jones design. Let me have it. I'll be the able. Yeah. yeah, so hang on. I don't have a picture. Let me just see. Yes, yeah, Jereen Jones has designed it. Um, and if I do this way, you can take that down now. All right, if I did it this way, you won't see the chart that's at the top. Uh -huh. But that's what it'll look like when it's finished. That's cool. Yeah, I can get a screenshot of that for next month. Yeah, <laughs> nicely done. All done? No, not quite. Oh, I'm no. all done with that one. You're not? Well, I'm all done with that one. What are you stitching it on? Uh, it's, it's on, I think, 18 or 20 count white Ada. Mm -hmm. um, I have put in 266 stitches this month. So there we go. It's all, going, done. It's all going nicely. Page two. Now, the other th uh, so, so that's the whip go. Sorry, guys, I've just knocked you. Um, so that's whip go for... February. February complete. So I have completed January and February. Absolutely well done. Fun. Yes, I'm happy. Good stuff. I'm a happy bunny. Gosh. Um, we'll talk about whip go again in a minute, but the other whip that I'm working on because it's been called this month is that which does not kill us. Yeah. I'll see if I can drop a, a picture in here. <sighs> um, so I picked it up and started working on it again. If you have completed this, Sal, I have so much respect for you. This thing has broken me. It's breaking me. 
I didn't want to do my trolley mm. last night, but I think I was still recovering from travelling on Saturday. I'd love to Friday. know that those people who have completed it, did you stitch it on linen? Was it tough? Or was, we're thinking the linen that we've got is... This is 30 count linen in Salem from the Primitive Hair and it's quite a loose weave mm. and it, it just pulls. So you end up with big holes. But anyway, this is what it looked like last time you saw it. There we are. And I put in two days, really. I hardly did anything last night, though. I mm. sort of faffed around with it. Um, but I've put in a considerable amount today. And we are there. We have the entire bottle stitched. Wow. And we have the chunk of shelf partially done. I've got some, some fill in all around here and the label to put on it. But it's actually, I, I've managed to put quite a bit in in the last hour. Nicely done. that shelf wasn't there. No. Outstanding. Fun. Your resilience to keep on with it is Grim impressive. Grim determination. <laughs> <laughs> it, it broke me. Yeah. So whip go. Let's finish talking about that then. So whip go for March is ten and one. Ten was five days on that witch. Um, after the first day, I didn't think yesterday I was going to do any more. I was, I was like, I'm, I'm not happy with this. That witch. You're not stitching a witch. That witch. Pipe down. <laughs> Just let me talk, will you? No, you if they might be wondering when you're going to show them the witch. No, it's that witch does not kill us. Correct. Yes. Only makes us stronger. I am going to be Jeff Capes by the time I finish. <laughs> Jeff Capes the stitching world. Which has just aged me completely. <laughs> huh, right, yes. So I wasn't 100% sure I was going to carry on. What I have decided is I am going to give it the full five days. And if by the end of that full... I, I need to have got another bottle and the next section of shelf done by the end of those five days, I think. If I haven't, there's a good chance it's going to either go into long-term timeout or be completely... Or a bonfire. Um, but yeah, because it, we can't salvage that fabric. No. I'm not sure I really want to either. No. Um, nope. So we'll see, you know, life's too short. And I don't, even though I don't believe in quitting, you know, we wanted to do it. I wanted to do that before you started doing it. Indeed. So anyway, so the other number called for March is number one, which is Cherry. Uh -huh. I've got five days to do on Cherry. Um, I have deliberately, for three reasons, not done Cherry's first. First of all, it was technically called second. Right. Okay. So really, you should do them in order, as yes. far as I'm concerned. Yes, do five days on that. Do and ten then... and then one. Yeah, yeah. Um, secondly, I should not be using it to procrastinate doing that, which does not kill us. Okay. Because I could be using it to put it off, delaying it, mm. because, you know, but, you know, that well done. about eat the frog first. All over to you first. And also oh, then, when, well done you. once it's... I've done... Five days on that, which does not kill us. I will treat five days on cherries as a reward. Yes. But is that what stitching should be? Should it be torturous so that the next whip you do is reward? No. Quite. No, it shouldn't. But, you know, it's like, that's, 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 yeah. you know, to give people a better idea, perhaps if I just unravel the, well, no, it's not going to work because it's all hidden. But there's a lot of border gone in. Huge. Like, all the way round, mm. this one's put border and corners and everything in. And it was a lot of hard work. It was. And doing the fill for the hemlock, that yellow, that's that was pretty intense. So it's kind of like, uh, I've started, so we'll finish. <laughs> well, you started, so we'll finish. Um, no, you know, and I, fabric's I just... not cheap. You know, and I can't salvage this fabric for anything without unpicking everything. And it'll just be spoiled. And do I really want to stitch it again? No. So mm. we are going to have a good stab. Okay. Several thousand stabs, in fact. <laughs> yeah. And see how we get on. Nicely done. I think that's uh, all credit to you for having a go at that. Oh, it's bloody stupid, that's all. It made me very nervous about st starting stuff that, you know, mm. is a bit different. You got any haul? No. Well, I do have something to talk about because I forgot to mention it a fortnight ago. And I'm very sorry, Lorraine. But I didn't mention it two weeks ago. But after um, after Christmas, the lovely Lorraine, who's one of our subscribers, messaged me to say, 
I've got, I, I saw that you've bought some Jodery design threads because most of you will know that Jodery designs have now stopped making threads. They've, they've closed the business. She said, I've got some Jodery threads. Would you like them? I was like, oh, that'd be lovely. Thank you very much. Would you like postage money? She said, no, I'm just happy for them to go to a good home. And boy, I did see a photograph, but let me um, remove that. A lovely card from Lorraine. And, uh, and it really was a very lovely card. It's a very lovely fairy on a moon. Very Joan Elliott-esque. Um, she said, just wanted to say thank you. I've cross-stitched for about 30 years. I do many crafts and they all get neglected now and then. It's been at least five years since I last cross-stitched. I started watching Teresa Little Stitcher, then Karen Needlebug, then you. You've inspired me to get out my goodies, have a lot started and some still to start. My taste has changed over the years, hence the passing on of my stash. I come from a crafty family, but I'm the only one who cross stitches. I took a chance and messaged you. So. And I noticed she's signed it Lorraine, not yeah, Lorraine. She's Lorraine. She's yeah. Lorraine. She's Lorraine. Mm. So, love what you and the Brom do on the YouTube. Please <laughs> both always be yourselves, as that is what we all love about you both. Enjoy. <laughs> so, yes. So, Lorraine sent, sent us a box. her Jodery stash. And holy moly. <laughs> holy moly, yeah. What a good word that is. <laughs> well done, took the box off and it was just colour. <laughs> Holy moly. I am speechless. Yeah. And that's not all of it. So there is bag after bag of Jodiri Designs threads. Oh. I mean bag after bag after bag. So... There is more stash there than I can get through in a lifetime. And there are a couple of people that I promised that can have a look at it. Mm -hmm. Because one, for example, the lovely Charlie Feathers, completely missed out on the, on the closing of the shop. and was like, oh, where'd they go? Oh, no. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it's like, Bless. And I, oh, no, they've shut. And I didn't get... Yeah, so I said to Charlie that I'd let her have a look and see what she needed. Mm. Um and then my lovely coven, we're meeting up at the beginning of May. So, um, and I know Jen needed some. So we're, cool. we're taking that with us. But after that, if there will still left. be more than I can possibly use, especially having just bought eight or nine skeins myself. Mm. Um, I will probably do a couple of giveaways and be sending some. So it's worth your while subscribing. Yes. Be a subscriber because, and win yes, something. Yeah, be a subscriber and win something, mm, you know. Good idea. Stick around because we've got some, some fun times. Nice ahead. threads to give away. Yes. Good yes. stuff. Indeed. No, nicely done. Is that all whips done? You, I think that's it. Or, I, that, I, I'm not on a I'm on a stash band, so I I'm Ah not yeah, stash band. Yeah, no, I've not so, got anything new. No, no. Yeah. Um Yeah, just being frugal. I'm just looking around just to see if there's anything I've forgotten to share or show. I don't think there is. Nope. Nope. Yeah. I suppose technically hmm, I left it upstairs. Um stash ban literally is on going out and buying um patterns and thread needlessly when you haven't already got Yes. Yeah. Um but things like if I am doing a particular project and I run out of a thread that I need in order to complete or carry on mm. And it's holding things up, and then I will go and buy new. But not to go straight into stash, but it would go straight into use. Yes. Um, and notions, things like um, thread huggies, new needles, they're not what I call stash, they are equipment. Equipment. So yes. I bought a plastic box to put bobbins Thread, in bobbins while in. I was yes. away and yeah replacement card bobbins but mm. actual stash that doesn't get used as straight away mm. like that you know quite 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 so that's it quite I don't think we've got anything else to say nope what are you reading at the moment I am not reading reading I'm listening reading listening reading and I'm listening to A Court of Wings and Bruin mm -hmm. yes Aka War mm -hmm. yes I've just read The Night Raven. Can't remember mm. who by, but it wasn't that good. Um, I'll give it three three stars. I can't even really remember how it ended. That's how good it was. Um, 
straight back into another Sarah J Mars. You? I'm got at home, Iron Flame, at the beginning of it, and, you know. This all that red. unfolding and then in the truck i'm audibling um something called the eternal wars if you're into myth and magic and magicians and mm -hmm. stuff and a book where the hero character is a woman a female mm -hmm. um it's a good book there are five in the series uh, the first book on audible is free just to give you a taster so go and have a look the eternal wars it's rather good and it's a very different way that magic is used than you know wizards just reading books and tomes it's a very different way the magicians in this world have to swallow a pebble of a particular magic oh. and once it's in their stomach they can access that magic but you're not all the magicians aren't um compatible with all the magics right it's fabulous that's a little bit like um brian sanderson's um mistborn oh, okay. books um, okay. I'm reading. I, I, I'm actually physically reading. I took it upstairs last night. Actually, physically reading part one. It's taken me ages to get through it because stitching. Mm. Um, but his are alamancers, and they eat. Um, they they take in metals. Right. That's so, funny. And they burn copper and tin and mm. stuff like that. Well, alamancing. Alamancing in this book is to do with controlling metals. Yeah. Well, yeah, alloys. Mm. But yeah, so that's what's in. Yeah, different, cool. different author, but different yeah. Author. Um, Similarities. What, but another one, which is a good book, um, I can't try, I'm looking to see if I can see it, and I can't see it, because uh, it might be on another shelf now. Well, um, get it down for next time. Well, just, I can't even remember who wrote it, but it's called Spellwright. Oh, yes. Mm. That was good. Yeah, the dyslexic... The dyslexic um... wizard. <laughs> can you imagine? And it's not a comedy. No. No, dyslexic. It's not a comedy. Dyslexic. Dyslexic wizard. wizard. Yeah. That's a lot I think of fun. We've waffled long enough. Long enough. Should yeah. we do the worms? Uh, was there something else we were going to talk about at the end? No. 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 I don't forget. It's a. It's a were, not a her. A were, wealthy. Yeah. Well, you do that bit then. No, you do it. Okay. I'm not doing. You do it. It's your turn. <laughs> we hope you stay happy, wealthy, wise. And well, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>